Jampact here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Space Engineers mod. For me, it took a while to learn how to make it, and I eventually asked a friend to teach me how to make it because, you know, it's difficult. So, today I'm going to make you a video on how to make it. It should be quick, but it's going to be probably three episodes at least if you want everything, um, how to do everything. You can skip through parts because I'm going to be putting all of the image creation and modeling in the videos as well so um there there i might have separate videos for those but you know anyway so let's just get right into it the programs you're going to need are notepad plus plus um blender or cinema 40 or and um you, you need blender and if you want to use cinema 40 for modeling because i don't like blender blender sucks personally um yeah and then you're gonna want some sort of photo manipulation like Photoshop or GIMP or something, um, they're going to use to create the images eventually. Um, that will be longer down the line, so you don't really have to worry about that now. Um, yeah, so let's just get started. You're going to have to open up two file systems. One is going to be in your Steam library, so um, mine is in a custom location, but a normal person would have it in C drive, program files, program files 86, either one. Um, depending on your operating system, and it'll be in Steam right here. Um, mine, like I said, is custom, so I'm gonna put it, or I have it in uh, my E drive. So basically, once you get to your Steam, you should see Steam library or Steam apps. Sorry, Steam, Steam apps, and you common, and then you're gonna scroll down and find Space Engineers. Right here, you're gonna leave it right here for a second. Then we're gonna go to Start, Run. Press enter. Percent app data percent. Mine already has it because uh, I play Minecraft. Yeah. And you're going to hit OK. And you're going to scroll down. And you're going to find the other space engineers. I passed it. There you go. Now just keep this right here. Keep uh, Take note that space engineers log is right here. You're going to want to look at that whenever there's an error in your mod. Um, it's just useful. Yeah. That's all I have to say about that. Uh, so we're gonna go and look back at this file, and we're gonna go into tools, and you're gonna create three files. First is gonna be the first FBX, just like I have here. The next is gonna be large, and the final one is gonna be small. Make sure they're all capitalized, just like mine. Um, this one, actually, you can really rename whatever, it's just, uh, you save your FBX there, because that's what you want to do. It, it's not really required you can save it anywhere I guess but yeah so um, once you're inside large and small you're gonna have this XML file it's gonna be inside the zip just place it in large I don't have one for the small but um, it's similar I'll go over that in another video um, yeah this is where you're gonna put your uh, FBX's and blend files if you want uh, like I said you can put it anywhere else over here you're gonna have like I said, the log, and you're going to go to mods, and you're going to get this mod file right here. Um, this will be also in the zip I have for you. It'll be in the description in a media fire link. If it's not, it'll be broken. Tell me. I'll fix it. Um, so I made this so you guys don't have to go making like 20 files. So, because that's just a waste of time. No one likes waste of time. So this has everything you need to make a basic block. As I said before, uh, there's nothing really in here except for um, inside data. There's these two blocks that you're going to need in the future. Or er, files, I mean. <laughs> and then there's um, textures and models. And there's some basic colors we're going to be using for our, um, our block. So, the next thing we're going to need is... Uh, Oh, you know what? I wanted to talk about that. Textures, models. So inside models and textures, there's three different types of um, endings required here. Now these, there's only, there's actually three here, but um, there's only two on each. You can use either M E or D E for um, the first texture. And then the second one is NS. Every texture needs an NS. It's basically the bump map. If you know what that is, it's a uh, normal. Or if you don't know what that is, it's a normal map. I call it a bump map just because. Um, 
The DE stands for diffuse emissive. It's a glow without a glow, if you know. Like, uh, the interior block, it's got like a white little light on it. I say light loosely because it's not really glowing. Um, but yeah, that, that's what, that's what, um, DE uses. So then the ME is mask emissive. It's recolorable texture. So you see like, um, a normal text or a normal armor block. That's an ME block an M like Mike, I believe it is. Yeah. Mike. Um, and then the NS, like I said, normal specular bump map. Um, and the textures and particles, instead of textures models, textures particles, this is for your uh, transparent textures. These do not require DE, ME, or NS, but um, they're slightly more difficult textures to make just because um, you probably won't be messing with these for a while. So don't even worry about them until you got your bearings with a normal block. Uh, I'll probably be, make, be making other videos on that, but not right now. <laughs> I'm sorry if I sound stuffy. I've been sick for the past few weeks. Or, I mean, past week. So, now we're going to go into Blender, and we're going to set up our Blender scene. Um, should only take a second to load here. Now, I already have it set up, but what you're going to do is... Here, let's... Reset. Load factory settings. There we go. So, here's what we're going to do. Um, Blender Strange. Like I said, I don't like it. I model in Cinema 4D right here. That's my guy. But, um, what we're going to do is we're going to select all of the objects. We're going to hit delete. Delete. And then we're going to go, um... To the right, the little world icon, we're going to go to delete the little world icon, and then um, we're going to go to the render tab right here, which is the little camera, and then we're going to go to uh, resolution, you're going to change it from 1920 by 1080, we're going to change it to 128 by, one, by, by 128, and then we're going to make um, the scale to 100 instead of 50. And then you turn anti-aliasing off. Oh no, I mean sorry, on. You turn it 16, and you're gonna make um, full sample checked right here. Next thing we're gonna do is go to shading channel. Sh shading channel. Mm, no, you're gonna change the alpha t from sky to transparent, and then you're gonna go to output down here and you make it from 8 to 16 and then next to the grid in the middle um, you're gonna press N um, N and that should bring up this window uh, you might have to scroll up a little bit I don't know why it bugs out for me um, you're gonna change the color wait no we already did that whoops um, we're gonna change the display lines here from 16 to 5 and then the scale to 1.25 and then subdivisions to 1 now one large block is four of these I think you have to rescale to make a small block because that only makes sense but um, just just like I said, I'll make it in another video. Just think one of these is one large block. I mean, four of these is one large block. So each one of these is a quarter of a large block. The next thing is we're going to do um, down here. Next thing we're going to do down here, this animation window. Oh. Uh, this is totally useless as Blender cannot yet export animations um, for space engineers. So we're going to go down here, and we're going to go to UV Image Editor. And now you can see all of the unwrapped um, objects, or all, your unwrapped object here. Um, 
Next thing is gonna be you're gonna go to file save. Sorry, if you um, are gonna be using Cinema 4D with me, I'm gonna be doing this separately, so you don't even really have to worry about this. Just make sure it's selected like this. Um, yep. Go to file, save startup file. And then, actually, I'm going to move this down just because I'm going to go back to file, save startup file. Don't move your mouse, just click again. And that should be everything to get you started in Blender. Um, every time you start Blender now, it'll open up like this. And like in the beginning when I restarted Blender, all you have to do to get back to the uh, original settings is load factory settings and I think you can do user preferences. No, never mind. Um, but yeah, now now this is saved, and every time you load Blender up, it'll be this. So this has been episode one. Um, continue on episode two. It'll be up right after this one, just to get you guys going on your mods. Thanks for watching, and can't wait to see everything you guys do.